Almost all the problems related to your spray gun can be attributed to a blockage or a cleaning issue. No matter which Fuji HVLP gun you are cleaning, the principles remain the same. You should always clean your gun after you spray, as well as perform regular maintenance. It is never recommended to leave liquids in the cup overnight or for an extended length of time. For purposes of this video, we will be demonstrating using the Fuji XPC and T-Series spray guns. Pour the material out of your cup. Use a solvent soaked rag to clean the residue in the cup. Remove the filter at the base of the feeding tube. Add water or solvent to the cup about halfway. Tighten the lid and swirl it around. Attach your gun to the hose and turbine and spray the cleaning solution into a waste bucket or into a clean rag to avoid filling the room with unnecessary spray. Repeat and spray until the solution runs clean. Pour any remaining solution into your waste bucket. Do an inspection of the pressure tube and check valve. Make sure that there is no material inside that could dry, causing an obstruction to the airflow. Find that most problems associated with any spray gun are due to a blockage in the pressure tube or check valve. If necessary, replace this wearable part and ensure that the nipple attachments to the pressure tube are always clean. Remove the collar and air cap. In order to remove the needle, first unscrew the fluid control knob making sure not to lose the spring. Squeeze the trigger and pull the needle out. Use your wrench to remove the fluid nozzle in front of the spray gun. Place the needle, fluid nozzle, and air cap into a small bucket of cleaning solution to soak. While it's okay to soak these parts, it's never okay to soak the complete spray gun in solvent. Once you remove these items from soaking, use the cleaning brush to clean the nozzle, the air cap, and wipe the needle with a rag. For the T-Series, Remove the air diffuser, diffuser seal, and the air divider. Place these parts into a small bucket of cleaning solution to soak for a few minutes. Be sure that holes or horns in the air cap are clear. Sometimes a toothpick or soft pipe cleaners come in handy when cleaning these holes. Use the cleaning brush on the needle or wipe the needle down with a rag. Replace the fluid nozzle with a wrench, making sure that it is nice and tight. If it is loose, it could allow material to contaminate your gun the next time you spray. Replace the air cap and the collar. Apply some lubricant or oil to the shaft of the needle and insert it back into the gun. Avoid applying oil to the front of the needle as this is the part that comes into contact with your finish. Put the spring back into place and screw on the fluid control knob. Replace the filter at the base of the feeding tube. Wipe the body of the gun down. For the T-Series, position a small round hole on the air divider to 12 o'clock. This will match up to the same sized hole on the gun body. Place the fuser seal onto back of the fuser. Note there is a locating pin behind the diffuser, and when reassembling, this pin must be seated properly into the matching hole in the air divider at 12 o'clock. Replace the fluid nozzle with a wrench, making sure that it is nice and tight. Apply some lubricant or oil to the shaft of the needle and insert it back into the gun. Put the spring back into place and screw on the fluid control knob. Replace the air cap and the collar. Wipe the body of the gun down until it is nice and clean. If you follow these maintenance steps, you will ensure that your spray gun will not only last for a very long time, but will maintain its peak performance.